Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Trogdor and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We have another PTL game in which I am... Okay, so I'm currently 2-2. Two two. We finally won another game, which was uh, interesting. After, I don't want to say a rocky start, but undesirable considering, like, you know... Anyway, it's week number 5 and our opponent is Slick Panther and the Cleveland... Uh, Cav or that should say S Cavaliers, but it's really difficult to see on my layout, but whatever. So my opponent's team is pretty interesting. I'm going to pull it up right now. He's got Kieran Black, Mega Deancey, which already is just like, ew, gross, stop it. Uh, Lucario, Crocodile, Starmie, Rotom Heat, Roserade, Snorlax, Steelix, and Dusclops. So a lot of things on that team that are very good against me, notably the Kieran, like, it, it just always seems like any team completely gets destroyed by, like, Life Orb 3 attacks, Roost, Kiram. Which, again, if it runs, like, Ice Beam, Iron Head, and, like, Earth Power or something like that, it just bodies me. Mega Deancey is just, like, insanely good. Uh, Crocodile is, like, his dark type, which means it's my his best stop to my Lele. And I'm also really weak to ground in general. And then Snorlax is a big... It's gross and fat and can't be killed. Rotom just like is the easiest switch in the world to my Mega Scizor, so gotta deal with that before Scizor can go ham, which you'll see in a little bit. Starmie is actually pretty good against rain. Like honestly, if it's rocking a scarf, it can actually do some damage. But you already see what I've got. It's the Choice Specs Tapu Lele. So I'm rocking Psyshock, Moonblast, Focus Miss, and Energy Ball. So I really just need Psyshock and Moonblast because Psyshock is already doing a ton of damage to a Spideff Snorlax, which I think Spideff is more likely than not because, you know, it's another... It, it stops, like, Ludicolo. It stops, like, a Specs Pelipper, I wanted to say. It stops Tapu Lele, so, you know, I got that there. And otherwise, like, besides the Crocodile, which I have Focus Miss and Energy Ball there, but really my last couple moves are extraneous. I doubt I'm going to click them at all, ever. Even then, like, if I bring down Crook, which I think is like most likely 6, is like, Kyurem, duh, Deancey, duh, Crocodile, duh, Rotom, duh, Starmie, probably, Snorlax, probably, and, like, Roserade, probably, the... It, it could be anything, like, Lucario could give me a headache if it's, like, Dual Dance or something. Uh, Steelix is always, you know, I used to run it, I'm a huge fan of it. Dusclops is annoying, but I think I've got all the right checks and stuff to it, so yeah, we'll see. But Lele is just going to be going ham and stuff. So I've got my Mega Scizor. So Scizor basically is, I've got SD3 attacks. So once Rotom goes down, I dance and basically... Uh, destroy everything this is my insurance policy for curum for deancey partially for snorlax really helpful versus what do you call it starmie unless it's rocking the hp fire because i've got quite a lot of spadef it's i don't know if it can set up versus snorlax it'll probably have fire punch but having the rain up well scissor goes ham on everything will be very nice so basically it's like Baby this thing until Deancey is gone, which, you know, should be easy enough, but we'll see. Um, what else about Scizor? Yeah, it's cool. It's going to punch things, and I got to make sure that it doesn't start going ham while my psychic terrain is still up. So next, I have Raincore. I have, no, not Tornti. I have, yeah, I have Pelipper and then Kingdra. So Pelipper does Pelipper things. Uh, Kingdra does Kingdra things. I'm actually running kind of a mixed Kingdra. Just because different water moves are doing different amounts of different things. And, like, I I don't like the inaccuracy of Hydro Pump, even though it's doing more damage. But, yeah, this is kind of a weird set for me. I, I don't know. But, what else? Yeah, I've got Dragon Z just to blow something back. Like, if Deancey does, wants to, like do everyone a favor and not be alive anymore then Kingdra can just like destroy something with the Dragon Z and the Pelipper I'm actually doing a Scarf Pelipper I thought about like specs or something but Scarf U-turn is super helpful if I can just like spam Hurricane which flying coverage is fantastic versus my opponent so I'm just gonna make note of that 
So there's that, and I can, you know, maybe get surprise kills on things like the Rotom, on things like the the Ancy, both of which are just bopped by a Hydro Pump in rain. Uh, next up, I do have the Torn T. So Torn T, like I said, flying is actually fantastic coverage versus my opponent. So I've got Hurricane, Brick Break, Knock Off, a new turn run, and an AV. So I've got quite a lot of bulk on Torn T. Enough speed for, I believe... I want to say, was this for Deancey? If this wasn't for Deancey, that was kind of a dumb move on me. I think it is. Otherwise, it's for the Curum. But anyway, Torrenti is going to do like bulky things. It's going to do fast things. It's going to do spam things with Hurricane and grab momentum, etc. On everything. So yeah, just like the, the coverage is really good versus my opponent, so Tornadus was kind of necessary for that, and I wanted to run the AV because, as you may notice, my team is not very bulky at all. It's basically balls-to-the-walls offensive, which is kind of what this team is best for. And lastly, I have Karen Chungus, the Diggersby. I'm running Agility 3 Attacks, which is actually fantastic. Basically, EQ bops a lot of things on here. It doesn't bop Rotom, but Rotom gets bopped by the frustration. And low kick bops the likes of the Snorlax, not so much the Steelix, and also the Curum, unless the Curum for whatever reason is max HP, but even then it's a roll in my favor. Since I have the Expert Bell to knock it out with the low kick, because that thing is a thick boy. So, and I think I bop like a Spideff Snorlax, or even with a certain amount of investment. So that's the team. It's Like I said, it's really offensive. I don't have a lot of... I don't have a, like a lot of defensive checks to things like the Deancey or the Kieran, but it's like, you know, I have fantastic revenge killers for all those things and fantastic cleanup crew and another cleanup crew and another cleanup crew. And this is literally my bulk, the bulkiest thing on my team. So, so that's the team. I'm going to get into the battle in just a sec here, see how this does and all of that jazz. So be right back. So this is the battle. As you can see, we have the same six mons as before, and we now see what my opponent decided to bring. I don't see a Crocodile. I don't see a Starmie. Hooray! I see a Kyurem, Boo, Snorlax, Roserade, Rotom, Lucario, the Ancy. Honestly, the most surprising thing to see here is Lucario, because that's just like, ooh, another kill for Tapu Lele. <laughs> well, this entire team is like once... Honestly, this entire team is just like free kills for Tapu Lele. So I'm going to lead Pelipper just because I want Rain up more than anything. And yep. So he leads Rotom as I lead Pelipper. And my the first thought that I got in my head is what if I'm able to knock this out turn one? So I went for the Hydro Pump and I clicked the button. And I'm just holding my breath for a while to see what moves he wants to make. He might switch. I thought about going for the U-turn, but then thought, like, well, what if he is Scarf? And then I was like, oh, what if he is Scarf? And outspeeds me as I go for the Hydro Pump. So I'm holding my breath. I'm making kind of a ballsy move, like, turn one. He switches and goes into Roserade. That's fine. And, you know, but look at the amount of damage that it does in rain with, you know, a resisted hit. So that just happened. So Torn is actually a pretty great switch on this. Like, you know, with the AV, I'm super bulky. As he goes for some spikes, which is annoying, but, you know, I want to say, like, one, two, a third of my team is immune to it. It's like Scissor is the only thing that, like, really cares about it. So I'm going to go for a Hurricane. Doesn't do much to the Rotom. I'm going to knock this thing off just in case it is Scarf or something, but it's actually Specs. So it's a good thing that I knocked it off there. Otherwise, that Thunder would have done big damage to me. So at least I know now that Pelipper can outspeed, Lele can outspeed, Diggersby can definitely outspeed after the plus two, and Kingdra outspeeds everything. So he goes for the Thunder and paralyzes me. That's annoying, but, you know, it happens. But who knows, it might be really huge later on in the battle. So he thunders me right there. I'm going to get on out of here, but instead I let him go for an overheat, a crit. That's nice. And I'm paralyzed. Also nice. So getting you turned there would have been really cool to get some momentum, but instead I've just got to get my regen back. Go into Diggersby because that Rotom is like, yeah, that's cute. Yeah, nice try. So I'm going to go for agility right here as he brings in Snorlax. But that Snorlax, it's, it's, no, that, you're, no, that's not a Snorlax anymore. 
So I'm looking at his team and thinking like, ooh, Rotom is at half and dies to frustration. Rosary just gets bought by anything. Deancey gets bought by an EQ. Kiram gets bought by a low kick. Lucario gets bought by an EQ. And it's like, oh, cool. Diggersby is already just going to sweep his entire team. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we're done. We can we can all go home now. So Kiram comes in. I go for the low kick and... So that's like max HP Kiram for some reason. And yeah, even then, like I said, it was a roll in my favor and I didn't get it. So that's really annoying. So I, I still have a lot of things. Like, no Snorlax being there is great for my Lele. It's great for my Rancor. So I could have gone into Pelipper right there and grab, snag some momentum because I could have gone for, like, you know, the Scarf U-turn, had Rain up, etc. But instead I go into Scizor to scare it out for some reason. Even though I know, like, Rotom is coming in right here. So I go for the Bull Punch and, yeah, it's doing, like, nothing. So I'm going to go into Pelipper, get up Rain, hoping that he goes for the Overheap, and now he goes for the Volt Switch and takes out my Pelipper. That's why I should have gone in versus the Kyurem earlier, but now I'm going to go into Kingdra, which, guess what? I'm looking at his team, I outspeed everything for the next four turns, I bop the Kyurem, bop the Roserade, the Rotom, the Deancey, everything is about to die to the Kingdra. Woo, that, this is fun. So I go for the Waterfall right here. And Roserade comes in next. I don't know why he would go into the Roserade. I'm obviously carrying the Ice Beam. I should have looked at this and been smart and gone for my Dragonium Z, but I clicked the super effective button in Ice Beam because Rotom obviously dies to a Waterfall. Lucario, it's like I'm not doing enough with the Dragon Dance. I'm obviously not going to be clicking my Z move, so I should have just popped my Z move right here, gone for the Ice Beam. Oof. Sludge Bomb doesn't kill, but he gets the Poison and dies to the Life Orb. So, if either A, I had been smart and clicked the button, or B, he hadn't gotten another dumb thing that would have been a dead Roserade, and I could have picked up another two kills, thanks to him, you know, going down to Life Orb. So, that's, like, number four annoying thing that's happened that's, you know, prevented a what could have been, like, easy cleanup. So, Lucario comes in, and so does Lele. And I'm going to go for the Spec Psy Shock right there, and he's going to go down as Deancey comes in. So I should have realized earlier that Specs Psy Shock in Psychic Terrain actually KOs the Deancey in the Psychic... Well, even if it's not in the Psychic Terrain. So I should have done that, but I was like, oh, I have Scizor. That's my switch into Deancey. Ha 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 ha, but Rotom's still there. So I should have just stayed in and kept clicking the button. But instead, I'm going to go for... I can't even go for the bullet punch right here. This is how dumb of a play that I made. Because I think, like, oh, I absolutely need the terrain to go away for Scizor to have a chance to win. But no, Lele was my chance to win right there. But I've still got it in my back pocket, and I can tank any move from DNC. So, yeah, whatever. So, I actually predicted a move... Uh, wrote him in right there but for some reason he keeps keeps cooking protect and stuff so i go back into lele thinking like the terrain's gonna go away which is great and then i can do some damage so like i said especially after the amount of damage that i did psysoc is still a ko because i'm specs after without the terrain and i also made the rotom so hey look lele is gonna clean up too so that's like great so yeah go for the psyshock he goes for the moonblast right here I live, but I get the special attack drop. And because of that, Psyshock doesn't kill. Look at that. He had 20% health left. It, it, it would have it KO'd if, I, if there was no special attack drop and Rotom was at like half. So that's annoying. And of course he's not staying in right here. Like, you, you see that I'm going to go for the bullet punch right here. I should have made another prediction, but Rotom still resists my other stab. And I'm just going to, like, die to it right here. And, yeah. <sighs> and Tornadus, of course, is paralyzed, so I'm not outspeeding the Dancy, and it's just able to take me out. So let's do a quick recap. Uh, I lose 2-0. Good game to my opponent. Definitely played well. But... Thornty got parried, like, early on and prevented that extra bit of damage from happening to the Rotom, even though U-Turn would have done an insignificant amount of damage. That also prevented me from outspeeding this last two turns. Somehow, Kyurem lived a low kick from Diggersby, 
I'm so curious to see like what spread that was because like I said, even max HP was a roll in my favor to kill. Kingdra got poisoned after I didn't click the button, but that stopped a Kingdra sweep from happening. And Lele got that special attack drop there at the end, which stopped a Lele sweep from happening. So it's just like just bombarded with all of like these dumb things. But you know, that's the game we play and you know, it turns like an easy 6-0 at first into a 4-0, into a 2-0, into a 0-2. Yeah, it happens. Anyway, so that's the game. So if you if you for somehow enjoyed, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe if you want to see the rest of the season where the next game is the halfway point as we take on Jack and Norwich Skitty. So stay tuned for that battle. And what else? Uh, comment down below if you got anything else to say. But yeah, that's all I've got for today. So I'll see everyone in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.